Hi guys, Iron Cameraman here. I want to ask you one question. What do you think is going to happen in episode 74? I'm sure each of you will have a completely different answer to that question. Because basically, after episode 73, it's very hard to predict what's going to happen. Especially after Dafuk showed us an extra scene with the survivors. That scene alone completely flipped the idea of the direction of the future plot. Also, let's not forget yesterday's exclusive footage that Elite Cameraman showed. I found it very strange that this troll leaked Dafuk showed him two months ago and only now allowed him to show it publicly. I decided to dig deeper and see what the correlation was, and to do that I decided to look at what video came out on Boom's channel two months ago, and I ended up coming across this video, which as you may remember had three additional scenes. And the most important scene was this scene with this UFO Astro Toilet talking to someone and further giving orders to Astro Scorpion. You know what the funny thing about this whole story is? If you look closely, you can see the UFO toilet's cannon in the troll leak in the background. And if you put this whole puzzle together, it turns out that this shot Dafuk took when he was doing that scene, and you probably already realize what this all means. Do you remember exactly how Boom creates the series and what his main secret is that allows him to make it so mysterious? If not, I'll remind you of that soon and tell you what other details are available in this troll leak which in turn are clues to what we can expect in the future. Other than that, today we'll discuss the return of G-Man, the unraveling of the identity of Purple TV Man, and plus we won't get around to an interesting reference that not many people have noticed. And that's not all, but that's about it. I tried hard today to find as much information for you as possible, so be sure to put like and don't rewind so you don't miss anything. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because statistically only 23% of viewers watch me with a subscription, while 77% do it without a subscription. Help me fix that statistic and hit the subscribe button. Anyway, here we go. Let's start with some pretty interesting news. The fact that for the first time, an official YouTube channel left a comment under Defook Boom's video. YouTube liked how Cameraman Titan helped Speakerman Titan stand up. It's pretty sweet that they left a comment like that. And it's also very cool, because since YouTube is publicly and officially showing that they are monitoring Boom's channel, it means that it's no longer likely that Defuk's channel can be blocked using fake copyrights like before. So, this is a very good sign and good news for all the viewers. Now let's move on to Cameraman Titan and Purple TV Man. Remember when I told you that today I'm going to tell you about two cool references? Well. One of my subscribers noticed that Cameraman Titan with Kane looks a lot like Transformer Jetfire. I already told you that Transformers is Dafuk Boom's favorite movie. In fact, he used to even make animations with characters from this movie. So it's not surprising that many of the images he takes from there. But my subscriber noticed another similarity. This time with the purple TV man, he reminds him of Miguel from the Spider-Man universe. I decided to check it out. And really, it's very similar. They're both purple, the pose is similar, and also both have weird things on their hands. But what if Dafuk was inspired not only by this character's appearance, but also by his story? The thing is, Miguel is a character who can move through different universes. As you know, in Skibidi Toilet TV, men are exactly the race that can teleport. So purely theoretically, I think there is some way to improve this teleporter to the point where it is possible to teleport not only in one universe, but to different universes. If you've seen Boom's series called Multiverse of Beatbox, you probably know that Dafuk Boom has already used the concept of multiverses there. And it doesn't end with these hints of possible intertwined universes. Now let's go back to the very footage that Boom kept secret for two months. Look at the background. Here you can see a white square, and it's not hard to guess that it's part of the head of TV Man, who is hiding there for some reason and watching. Now let's remember that Dafuk allowed Elite Cameraman to show this shot after the full version of Episode 73 was released. And there we saw, first, the surviving humans, and second, Purple TV Man. And that got me thinking that, starting with this episode, Dafuk Boom will slowly add to the storyline of Mail 07 and even possibly Mail 09. You may remember my very old video where I said back then that the universe of Multiverse of Beatbox is connected to the universe of Skibidi Toilet. 
Of course, now that I've rewatched that video, I disagree with some of the points. But in general, if you look at the idea itself, I think my old conjectures are coming true. And we're moving on to this poster from episode 70. Notice how this man looks like the man from episode 73. It's worth mentioning that there's a possibility that it's not him, because it's hard to understand exactly because of the poor quality, and also because the difference in years is very big. However, even if it turns out that they are different people, you cannot deny the fact that this man in a bathrobe, as well as not a few other survivors, are employees of the laboratory Alpha Hills, so therefore they were in contact with and knew the secret agent, the most mysterious character. And since we've already seen that he used to be the administrator of the lab, it's safe to say that the next episodes will reveal his past a little bit at a time through the human survivor's storyline. And I don't think it's a coincidence that it's only now that Purple TV Man is showing up. He's either working for secret agent interests or the same male 07 we saw in the troll leak. Remember I already said at the beginning of the video that there is a UFO astro toilet in this shot, judging by its cannon. So it seems to me that Male 07 has something to do with this race, and it's not even ruled out that then, in the extra scenes, he was the one talking to the UFO toilet. This is quite strange. You have to agree, if this is really true, and the main commander of Astro Toilets is a human, then there is a question, what went wrong in that unfortunate laboratory Alpha Hills? We can't know that yet, but I think after so much information, you will have some cool thoughts and theories about it. So I think in the next video, we will be able to solve it with the help of collective discussion. Now let's move on to the topic of G-Man. I have not forgotten about him today because today we are discussing episode 74 and what will be there. It's no secret that he will definitely be there, as evidenced by the number 74 on the leak that came out before the 72 episode. And of course, he'll probably change his appearance again. Since we saw that in the first two containers there were huge jetpacks, there is a possibility that in the other containers there is something to improve it. So my team and I decided to think about what he could look like, and we got this result. Instead of an eye, as you can see, I put an artificial eye. Since I think with a pirate patch he would look strange, and with a knife constantly walking is not very convenient. Also my team and I decided that it would be cool to carry six huge lasers. And naturally, this is just a concept, and knowing Dafuk, he can again surprise and improve coordinately different. Not for nothing in the internet has long been a joke with different G-Man with 100 or even 1,000 lasers. Here, for example, is one of the latest such fan-made. And also, we should not forget that the containers contain the last project of the scientist. So perhaps the content of the remaining containers will be coordinately different. It is our tradition to make such posters and discuss the future of the series. So I suggest you to write in the comments your variant of the plot of the next episode, and the one who will have the coolest variant. I will take your idea for the next video. Of course it's not 100%, but if there will be so cool theory that my team will like it, then such a video will be released. So subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. And I also recommend watching the new video on my second channel, where I analyzed episode 36 of Dom Studio. Bye.